today we are back on the main account to open up a thousand mini chests to see whether or not you guys should be opening them or just selling them in the trading plaza. I really got to think of a good name for this series because it basically has become a tradition to open up basically everything that you possibly can in each new update just to see if it's still worth it or not worth to open up these various things in the game. And I really enjoy these videos. They're not overly difficult to make. Honestly, the majority of my time I spend making these videos is just looking for the items themselves. And that's actually a major problem I fell into when making this video. I really want to do a much bigger opening, something more around like 2,500 of these mini chests, but it took me absolutely forever to get this many. I had to get this from two accounts grinding and then searching for hours upon hours in the trading plaza. And I think the most I bought at a time was like 25. Like nobody has these things in bulk. So that's pretty much the reason why I'm only doing a thousand. Somehow a 35 million diamond opening is now considered small for our channel. So that shows a lot, but I still think this is a good enough sample size for you to determine whether or not it's worth it for you guys to be opening these or just selling them. And that's the main point of the series anyways. I wish I only opened this many of the charm stones, I would have saved myself a lot of diamonds. I completely forget what's even in these mini chests, so it's going to be another surprise to me when we open these. I honestly don't remember there being anything too crazy, I just know you get a lot of your diamonds back. And I'm also just not sure if you get any of the new update stuff in these. So if you do, that actually end up being great, but we just need to get lucky with our RNG and just get as many diamonds as possible straight up from opening these. But I definitely think it's possible we make a profit on this one. Don't want to sound like a broken record, but you guys need to be joining my Discord. We give away a huge pet every other day and then do other daily giveaways as well on top of that. And we also have a good staff team and a great community that can help you with all kinds of problems related to Pet Simulator. Let's get right into it though. This was a long intro. I'm ready to make some profit. I kind of like this area. I think this is a good spot for us to open in. As you guys can see, we have cleared out our inventory. Everything are in these boxes. Let's set up one of these boxes to be for the mini chest opening so it's easy to tell how much value we're actually getting out of this thing. So besides that, we obviously have no potions, no enchants. Uh, I even cleared out my ultimates just in case you do get them from this. And all we have are these mini chests. So because you're opening things and they go straight into your inventory, this isn't going to be a very clean process. So I'm probably just going to skip ahead as I usually do. I'm going to open up a third of these things and then check in with you guys and show you what I've got. And we'll see how our profit's looking for this part. Keep in mind that a third of these costs about 12 million diamonds. So we're going to be looking for at least 12 million diamonds just straight up in our pockets. That would be beautiful. And if we don't get that much, we need to make it up with all the other stuff we get. So I'll check in with you guys in a second with what we got. All right, you guys. So I'm done, but I have a confession. I messed up not once, not twice, but three times. We got three charm stones and I'm just so impatient with clicking. Every single time we got one, I accidentally clicked it and actually used it. And from those three, we got two agility charms and one strength charm. So we could have had about like 90k more in value from this part of the video. But we lost that because I'm too impatient and I messed up. Now you guys can see we got 18 spinny wheel tickets. We got some secret keys, which aren't bad. I'm actually going to combine these just so we can get the max amount of value and see what we're actually getting because you tend to get more from combining these keys. So I'm just going to do this real quick. All right. So this actually adds a decent amount more value. But besides that, it doesn't look like we really got anything that crazy. We got 2000 rainbow fruit worth about 600 K a little bit of TNT, a little bit of TNT crates, a few large gift bags. The secret keys are pretty much worth the most out of anything we've opened, but look how many diamonds we have guys. We have to be in profit from this. We spent a little under 12 million and we got almost 11 million raw back. We basically need all of these items to add up to 1.3 million. Oh my goodness. We have to be in profit. Look at this. We got four tier seven from those 333 mini chests. That's pretty good. It's kind of hard to add up because there's nothing like seriously big, but these are already like 300. So besides these, we just need a million worth of stuff that I, I just don't see a world in which all of this stuff doesn't add up to a million. 
So I definitely think we're in profit right now. We're going to have to see till the end to see how much in profit we are. If we even are, I'll be right back. You guys, I'm, I'm going to open up the next part of these. So I'll see you guys in a second. Ah. All right, you guys, I swear I'm not even using an auto clicker. I just can't help myself. I have zero reaction time and I keep opening the charm stones. So I don't even know what we got from that charm stone. Oh, we got a TNT charm at least. That actually holds a little bit of value, but that's my bad. That's my bad. Big L YouTuber, I guess. We're done opening the second part of these. I think we made less diamonds on that one. We, I think we made around like 10 million diamonds that time. The overall cost of these was about 24 million. So basically we just need all of these items to add up 2.7 million and we are in profit. So we actually got three daycare vouchers, which is kind of crazy because we didn't get a single one in the first part. That's going to add a lot of value as well as these insta plant capsules, the seed bags, the diamond seeds are worth a ton right now. Especially after that video I made, I think pretty much everybody began finding out about that. And now it's just like so expensive to do a little bit in TNT crates, a little bit in TNT potions wise, nothing too crazy. Some lucky egg potions are worth a decent amount. Everything else is pretty low. To be honest, we got a lot more tier seven books that time around. So this is pretty good. Like 70 K hundred K 400 K for lucky egg seven. Really? That's pretty good. I think we're most definitely in profit. We're going to have to see till the end to see exactly how much profit, but it definitely seems very much worth it to open these so far. I'm not going to delay you guys any longer. I, I just like to get straight to the point. So we're going to finish the rest of these. I'm not even going to try this time. Whatever we get from the charm stone that we get is it's just going to be added onto the price. Those charm stones owe me so many overload and so many royalty charms that honestly, I'm just going to open them. I'll be right back with the results. And we can see if we are actually in the profit or not. All right, you guys. So we are finally done. Look how many diamonds we got. We actually got a decent amount more than I thought we were going to get in this opening. So we got almost 32 million diamonds straight back from around 35 million in wrap value of the opening. So we only really need like 3.5 million in diamonds worth of other stuff. And we're basically in the profit. We also got so many charm stones that time around. And I opened all of them completely shamelessly. I haven't seen what we got so far, but let's see. Five agility charms. I'm so due for some good stuff from these charm stones. Nothing really too crazy from enchants or potions or even items, to be honest. I'm just going to put this all in the box. Let's figure out if we made a profit or not. That's what you guys really came here for. All right, so we got our mini chest box. Let's fill this bad boy up. All right, you guys, so I got it all in this blue box here. I have not looked at the value quite yet. I'm pretty sure we got everything, all of our enchants, all of our potions, all of these items. This is the big reveal. I definitely think we are in profit. I'm not sure how much, but we're about to find out together. So remember, we're looking for three and a half million diamonds worth of stuff in this box. That's our break even point. And the big reveal we got... Okay, 8.5 million, meaning we are like 5 million in profit. We definitely take that. My only concern with opening these is it's all like a ton of like small stuff, which I don't really love. I much rather prefer to have like bundles of big things. So it's like easier to sell in total, but we basically got 90% of our diamonds back. So I actually... It's really not that bad. I'm just being a little picky and trying to be realistic. The only problem is I guess these don't drop that much. So people just don't have that much supply of them. I wouldn't say it's like a valid strategy just because of how long it takes to get these things. But if you are getting them as drops, I would open them for sure. 90% of your gems straight up is just a great deal. It's just like a little bit too much of stuff. If you know what I mean, it just takes, it would take a long time to sell this stuff if you really needed it. But you could open stuff like the large gift bags and the regular gift bags and then make some money off the pinatas and the keys. Oh, yeah, I forgot to even combine these keys as well again. So there'd be a little bit more profit if I did combine the keys, but I'm still happy with that. Five million profit is very good. I believe that's like a 15% profit, so I I'll definitely take it. If this type of thing interests you, we do this all the time on the channel. We do an opening video for every update in Pet Simulator 99 to test whether or not it's currently worth it for you guys to be open. These kind of things. Remember to join my Discord for daily giveaways, including stuff like huges, diamonds, random stuff from the community sometimes. It's a good place to be, and it is where you can get the most up-to-date information from me. 
So if that type of thing interests you, join up. Link will be in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching and peace out.